Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Hyphestus Prime on once again an absolutely glorious morning. Sun's out and the birds are chirping. Birds would be chirping if there were any. Anyway, my name is Wellington6012, welcome back. Hope everybody's well. So what's on the cards for today? Well, first of all I need to fix up a few things from yesterday. I was in a little bit of a rush to break camp. Yeah, I want to want to resolve a couple of things before the journey begins proper and we leave this uh, valley that's been home to us for the last few days. Before the sun came up I took the buggy out for a quick drive just around to that cobalt mine site. Also just grabbed some more of that ice on the way through as well. So the buggy's all loaded up. Need to think about plumbing this back into the beast. Really, yeah, I'm not happy with uh, that rush job on the front. So yeah, first job for today before we get going will be to set up a proper docking for the buggy and then we'll get this journey underway. First I do just have a bit of extra ore in my inventory so I'll get rid of that. I'll grab some magnesium when I was passing that boulder that's just nearby. While I'm here I'll just line up a couple of hydrogen bottles. Now we've got a bit more resource and a bit freer to do things. Let's see if I can grab those from here. I'm not sure if I can. Nah, I thought the sorters might interfere with that. I'll just grab it out of the assembler. Hang on. Yep, grab those two. I just want a second one. I'm going to throw one in the buggy as well. While I'm here, I'll just have a look in the component. As soon as I spell it right. I'll just have a look in the component. Yeah, I'm a bit short of things. So. While I'm doing these other things, I'll just line up a few components to get going so they can just manufacture away a few of those. And some of them. Yeah, and they can just produce while I'm doing other things. Uh, can I reach? Yep. So I'll just load these up. Give them a top up. And get rid of the ice. Oops. Okay, I'll throw one of them in the buggy and I'll show you why when I get in here. So I like to have a little bit of a survival kit. You can see I've already got a couple of things in there. Just in case I get caught short somewhere. So while I'm here I'll just grab, I'll grab those components. And I'll grab just a little bit of cobalt so that refinery can get started on that. Cobalt and magnesium do seem to uh, clog it up a bit. Haven't really got room for any speed modules on here. Okay, uh, so the what I'm thinking is a bit of an arm. This is probably the best spot. I don't think I'm going to be able to haul it right up onto the deck, but yeah. So I'll have a have a hinge there, some conveyors. So the yeah, I think the piston. Yeah. So I need a piston, parts for a piston, and a couple of hinges, conveyors. Yeah, I'll just get these down here. So I reckon this is the right spot here. Because when that's fully extended, it should just get to the edge. Yeah, should just get to the edge of the platform. And then the hinges will lower. There'll be a pair of them, one to lower and the other one to level it. That makes sense. So I'll just extend that out. See how that goes. Now this uh, mesh collision update, I only think I'm able to do this because of that update. So I don't know what I would have been doing otherwise. Yeah, that's working well. Perfect spot. Awesome. Uh, just finish that head off. Just get that sorted now. They can be a little problematic. You seem to forget sometimes that they're not finished even though they look finished. Just uh, name this. Right, uh, what's next? So put a hinge on. Now, I can actually use small grid here. 
Might be better, because then that connector, more so the connector than anything, be less room, because the one that's just to my left there does stick out a bit. Okay, I'll just finish that off, and then I might pull the piston back, I think, just so I know how much room I've got to work with. I'll do that from the... Oh, assuming I don't get stuck. Don't drink and fly, people. Yeah, I'll just pull the piston back from here. And then I'll get into that hinge, and I'll name that now, before I put the second one on. So, oh, work fingers. Oh, spelling. Uh, so this will be number one. And I'll just copy that for when I put the other hinge on. Because one will be going one way and one will be going the other. Add a small head to that. Yeah, I think the small grid's the way to go. Just going to need a little bit more flexibility. It's still the, the big 3x3 three three small grid, so we'll still be able to get all the components through there. Finish that one off. Nice. Okay, conveyors. So, uh, should probably lay it out first. So three, maybe. No, need a fourth. And then the hinge will get me up to the edge, and a connector. So yeah. Uh, it would have been nice to get it sort of dragged up onto a platform. I just, you know, I haven't really got the room to do that. And I, because the wheels hang down, I would need to raise it up a level, which I don't really want to do. So that'll be alright just hanging over the back. It's pretty small compared to the rest of the, the beast. So yeah, it'll be a bit like having your mountain bike hanging on the back of your car on one of those bike racks. Which is pretty apt, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Alright, so what I might do, because I've been doing an awful lot of mumbling, and you don't want to hear my mumbling. I've really got to improve on that. I'll add all these to the planner. I'll grab the components. I'll finish this off. And then I'll go through and set up all the angles and stuff, because I think that's going to be a bit of troll and error. I might have to look at that um, mod build planner so that I can make the adjustments on the actual component something I might have to look into okay I think that's just about complete now I'll, uh, I'll grab my paintbrush out and just give these a little bit of a touch up and yeah then I'll jump in get these angles right rename a few bits and pieces and come back to you in a minute in fantastic now that did take quite a while to set up just getting the angles right i did send the rotor the wrong direction a couple of times so that slowed me down a bit before i haul it up i'll connect up the conveyor system because that's still not connected so it might be a little bit heavy at the moment with all the ore on board so i'll need to get rid of that block there and then I can put a conveyor block where that conveyor is at the moment. Yeah. Grab the parts for that. So one of them and that should be enough to get it going. I'll put like the splitter in there and I think I'll just use regular conveyor to get us up there it might be a little bit of a weak point oh, I can always change it later I 
Okay, that's done and all plumbed in. Uh, that sorter down there does allow ore to go through. It doesn't pull it, so I will need to manually pull it across, which I'll just do from here. Just throw it into there. That's working. Awesome. I'll just leave the ice for now. That'll be the next project. Yeah. Looks good. Functional. Let's have a go at lifting it up, see if that works. Let's just turn the uh, jetpack off. Fingers crossed. Awesome. And there's even still that ice in there, so it's a reasonable weight it's picking up. And having it angled like that does give me a bit of flexibility. Now I'll just jump up on here to pull it back so I can see what's happening. And reverse. Cool. I really just wish that I hadn't rushed last night into this straight away. But now I'm happy with that. And yeah, it's my bike rack on the back. <laughs> awesome. So now I can get rid of that ugliness off the front, which would be good. I'll need to reposition those spotlights, so I'll sort that out and be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I've got that ugliness off the front and moved those spotlights into a new location that'll do for now. Still just temporary, I think. But yeah, I think uh, time to start burning some rubber. Let's get the show on the road. Now that buggy is vibrating around a bit. I think I'll just do the inertia tension on these three. That might help. Uh, while I'm in here, I might just go through a little bit of a checklist and get these wheels because they're also scrubbing around a bit so I'll just lower the friction uh, oh hang on, no, they're, the, they're the buggy wheels so let's go to the beast wheels so I'll just make some adjustments uh, they're not looking too bad I'll just even up that friction let's just run over a tree the uh, cliff that I'm keeping a real close eye on. So while I'm here I'll brighten these spotlights because I did forget to do that on the old ones. Here I was struggling to see and I actually could have extended the range a bit. Make sure the antenna's on. And the ore, just make sure that's operating. Cool! Still a bit of room for the uh, cliff. So let's have a look. Uh, there is a bit of a patch on the ground which has probably got some ore under it, so I'll just go and have a look at it. And I think that's my access down into the canyon over there. Sure enough, some gold and silver. So I'll mark it and also just take this opportunity to get rid of the old gold and silver marks because I won't be using those so I'll just do the one location cool and get rid of those two now the other thing is I did when I was getting that uh, cobalt last night I put a marker for the base camp so I can see how far I'm going so I'll just show that so where are we about three something k's just to give a bit of a reference as to how far I'm traveling 
Right, down into the canyon. Now I don't think I'll be going that far today, but it is just um, a symbol as it were. Once I get down to this canyon, that's the start of the journey. I can't see myself coming back up out of this canyon, so a real positive step forward. As we go over the edge, the journey begins. take it easy down here it looks looks pretty good pretty smooth access and just getting a little bit quick there I'll just tap on the brakes but yeah it's handling pretty well this beast and that opens out quite nicely so we're on our way awesome Boulder ahead, I'll just swing by that and then up, up to my right there's some um, sign of some ore under the ground. I'll just see what this is. Not too close. Iron, that's useful to know. Might need to come and grab that. Well, no, now I've got the still stone drill going. I'm not really having to get steel. So, what do we got here? Silica. Oh, okay. That's pretty much everywhere. Oh, ice. Ice. Okay, I think we'll park up here and take advantage of that ice. Just back up so I'm centered over it. And I'll do that. Okay, so yeah, I power has been in the back of my mind. I've got plenty at the moment, but I just don't want to get caught short. So while we're here, we'll do some drilling. We'll unstow that. And get the drill going. I love this drill, it's awesome. It's just smooth and does what it's meant to do. Now it's not going to connect on those. Yeah, I miss those connectors, but I think I'll get rid of that connector in a minute. So it's probably close enough, we'll get that going. Now, just bear with me here. This refinery is still clogged up by the cobalt. So I'll just rearrange things so that I try and get the stone refining ahead of the cobalt just switch some of these containers on stuff when I get my base proper going I'll certainly have multiple refineries and some uh, speed modules maybe a refinery for stone, one for some of the slower ores probably need another one for like uranium and platinum because they just crawl through just let that go for a while make some room in my inventory I'll get rid of that connector. Can't see myself using that again. Not now that I've got that awesome arm for the buggy. just get that stone ahead of the cobalt looks like that container one is where it's pulling out of first so if I pop it in there and get the cobalt into one of those other containers maybe yeah if I chuck that down there hopefully that stone will fill up ahead of the cobalt all right while we're here I might just get some components lined up because we will be going through a few yeah we chew, chew through some putting that cradle arm in so I'll just line up some more to produce while I'm laying out things I can always do with some of those not planning on putting a battery in but I think I'll just get some power cells prepped put a variety of other things in there that I quite often use I'll just double check if I've missed anything uh, oh, grids, we'll put some grids in okay, we'll just see how that refinery is going the drilling and stuff uh, some magnesium, oh, that must have been in the buggy but we might as well use it and get some ammo going because I think we might run into some pirates soon hopefully not today Uh, magnesium. Okay, we must have hit some of the magnesium. I didn't, didn't notice if there was any down there, but the ice is coming through, so that's good. Just 
get the stone ahead of the queue. Yeah, I might just stop the piston there to give the refinery a chance to catch up. So no, there's no room on the button panel, I'll just do it through here. Cool. Yeah, I'll just let that refinery do its thing for a while. In the meantime, let's get started on the hydrogen plant. Now I am planning a tractor unit for the beast and I did consider whether the hydrogen plant could go on there but no, I think I still will keep it on this part of the vehicle. Tap into those containers there at the back of the refinery and I'll put the power plant at the back. So I have a new large grid O2 generator so I can grind this one down. I'll just take that ice out of there. Uh, I might just top these bottles up before I grind it. Oh, I need some ice for that. Put some back in. Done. Okay, I can grind this down because it is taking up the spot that the tank will go on. Okay, that's not a tank. That's an engine. That'll go at the back. It's a tank. I'm just going to use a small one. Don't think there's any point having a large one. And then the O2 generator I'll pop in here and that'll link into those cargo containers. Which I'll just have to adjust that sorter. So yeah, that'll go through. And then where I'm standing will be the power plant, I think. Okay, that's that welded up. Just finish off that tank. Need a few more components. And we should be done. And actually unlock something as well. Now I put the O2 generator the wrong way around. I didn't have the conveyor port on the right side, so I just ground that down and replacing it. Rather than a conveyor junction, I'll put a cargo container there. It wouldn't hurt to have another one. The sorter will pull through the ice, and although I'm not expecting to clog up the system with ice, it would be good just to have a little bit more room so the components have room to fill up. Just sort out the sorter, pardon the pun, and add ice to the list. rename this container while I'm here. And just check that it's working. So we've got ice in the container, that's good. And I'll just check the O2 generator. name it while I'm here. Okay, that's got some ice, cool. So that must be working away. And I'll just check the tank as well. And it's filling up, cool. Now the power plant, uh, oh, there's actually some room here. I could just tuck it in here. Yeah, I'll throw it in there. It'll just connect into that cargo container. Now, which end's got the connector? Don't want to make the same mistake as the O2 generator. Can't see. That's that one there. And I'll just get it up the right way. And I need some steel plate. Just check. It doesn't seem to be going. 
pretty sure it's connected right. Let's change the name and I'll come back to it. I'll move on to the survival kit now that I can plumb it into the hydro system on the beast. I was a bit concerned about grinding it down and losing the medical components as I don't have any capacity to replace them. Uh, but I did try that off camera and it wasn't a problem, they ended up in my inventory so I'll grind down these small things. I'm going to have to stick with the small grid because I don't have enough components for the large grid one so I'll just use this hinge as an adapter. So I'll pop it on here and get rid of the large head. Pop a small head on like so and I'll just change the name while I'm here so beast and we'll call it an adapter right I've rotated that hinge around and I'll put the survival kit on just to make sure I connect it up right I think that's right we'll just double check uh, yep, yeah, that goes in that end because it's just a small conveyor at this end. Okay, that's all done. So those conveyors on the floor really are starting to annoy me. I keep getting stuck in them. It's just a little bit high for me to jump out with ease. So I'll put the walkways over the top. I uh, just had to unlock that first. That's why I was grinding down that interior wall. Uh, just third one I'll need to anchor, there's no connection points so I'll need to anchor one on the sorter there. I just replaced that conveyor junction with another cargo container, it uh, does the same job and may as well make the most of the space, just rename that. Cool, and I'll just uh, weld up these walkways. Then power, I just that hydrogen generator, I find that it's too much power to charge the batteries. I turn it on, I always forget to turn it off and waste all the hydrogen and ice. So I quite like to put a timer in just for five minutes so it runs for a short period. So I'll just add that to the toolbar. So Pop it in there, just plug that gap. Nice. Okay, I'll just jump in the seat and program that up, I think. Okay, I'll just rename this. Just call it a five minute timer. And five minutes, that'll be 300 seconds, I think. Okay, so how I set these up is essentially I press the timer twice. So the first time we'll turn the engine on and we'll put both batteries on recharge. So I'll load that up now. So I trigger it to do that straight away and then I'll start it so that in five minutes time it'll do the opposite which will be to turn the engine off and put the batteries back on auto. So I think that's right. So I'll trigger it and then I'll start it. So I'll just double check that that's worked. Yep, so that's on. Not much hydrogen there. Nothing in the tank. I'll just name that. I'll have to get some more ice. And I'll just check the batteries are on recharge. Yeah, that'll, that'll just top them up. They've still got plenty of power, but we'll keep that going for now. So with the hydrogen plant done, I'll just head down the drill shaft and hand mine some ice. Draw heads going so that'll collect it up and get it to where it needs to go. That seam of magnesium is rather nice, so I'll be grabbing some of that too. 
was quite lucky really that the drill managed to get both those seams, the ice and the magnesium. I'm going to keep drilling for a little while but that's going to be enough for today. I'll be sleeping under the stars again tonight and while I enjoy that I think I might want to build something a bit more comfortable so plan for tomorrow I'm going to build the, what I'm calling the tractor unit for the beast essentially just a second trailer that'll be on the front that'll contain some facilities and services to enable my rest time to be a bit more comfortable but until next time uh, thanks everybody for watching I hope you are enjoying it please feel free to leave a comment Enjoy the rest of your day or morning or evening or whatever time it is wherever you are in the world. And yeah, stay safe out there people. Have a good one. See you next time.